Hillary's sick sex secret just came out in disturbing emails she had with pervert Harvey Weinstein. The Weinstein scandal is a lot better than what Hollywood has ever been able to come up with. WikiLeaks has now released some disturbing emails between Hillary Clinton and heavy Democratic donor and sexual predator Harvey Weinstein. The email chain started with Weinstein messaging Hillary's aide Capricia Marshall offering Hillary some insider Hollywood movie deals. Conservative 101 Reports WikiLeaks showed some disturbing emails between Hillary Clinton and Democratic donor, sexual predator Harvey Weinstein. The email chain started with Weinstein messaging Hillary's aide Capricia Marshall offering Hillary some insider Hollywood movie deals. Dear Capricia, as time moves on, I realize I haven't seen you and Mrs. Clinton, Hillary, in a long time, but I think of you both often. I don't know if movie producers are still worthy in your world, but next time you're in NYC I'd love to see you," wrote Weinstein. Weinstein then offered to send Hillary an advanced copy of the movie King's Speech which wouldn't come to theaters for a few more months as well as a few other movies. Then he concluded his email with this, Your bad friend, Harvey. P.S. Please share this with Madam Secretary. That is so sweet so P.L.S. let him know I not only want the movies, including the Tillman story, but I've heard about some of his other projects from Jamie Patrickoff, Company Men, Blue Valentine, that also sound great. And P.L.S. wish him and Georgina every good wish W the new baby and that we all hope to see them soon, wrote Hillary. There is obviously a close friendship between this scumbag and crooked Hillary Clinton. Which is odd because Hillary claims to not like creeps right? except for maybe her own husband, Anthony Weiner, Harvey Weinstein and the famous pedophile Jeffrey Edward Epstein. The Daily Wire reports. Hillary Clinton now claims that she was creeped out by Donald Trump during their town hall-style debate, and that it took every ounce of her willpower not to chide Trump for breathing down her neck as she answered audience questions. In her forthcoming book, What Happened? which Clinton claims will help explain why she feels short in the 2016 presidential election, the former Secretary of State says Trump made her skin crawl, and that she felt completely intimidated by the Republican presidential nominee. It was incredibly uncomfortable. He was literally breathing down my neck. My skin crawled. It was one of those moments where you wish you could hit pause and ask everyone watching, well, what would you do? Do you stay calm? keep smiling and carry on as if he weren't repeatedly invading your space? Or do you turn, look him in the eye and say loudly and clearly, back up, you creep. Get away from me. I know you love to intimidate women, but you can't intimidate me, so back up. This is the first time Clinton has spoken publicly about Trump's stage machinations, but it's just the latest in a string of excuses Clinton has used to explain away her loss to Trump in November. In excerpts and previews from the book, due out in stores in September, Clinton has blamed everyone from an incompetent staff to an absent Democratic National Committee for her second failure at obtaining the nation's highest office. MSNBC's Morning Joe played a clip from the audio version of Clinton's book, with Clinton herself reading an excerpt. In it she claims that she desperately wanted to tell her Republican opponent to back up, you creep, get away from me and that she gripped the microphone extra hard in order to keep her emotions in check. In retrospect, though, she says she believed it would have been better to call Trump out for his behavior, especially since the debate happened just days after an Access Hollywood tape leaked, and Trump was already in trouble for using profane language to refer to a woman he was attracted to. It certainly would have been better TV. Maybe I have overlearned the lesson of staying calm, biting my tongue, digging my fingernails into a clenched fist, smiling all the while, determined to present a composed face to the world. The clip ended shortly thereafter, but no doubt, deeper into the chapter, Clinton blames the high expectations placed on women in the public square for her decision to bite her tongue, taking the feminist line that any time a woman expresses emotion, she's viewed as weak and hypersensitive. Because while Clinton is certain to devote hundreds of pages to the myriad ways in which deep-seated prejudices turned Americans against her, it's unlikely she'll admit to actually making a mistake. I have personally read Crooked Hillary's book, What Happened? Don't worry, 
I didn't pay for it, I just spent a few hours at Barnes & Noble reading it while I sipped on a cafe a latte. I have to say in all my years in politics and even more studying politics I have never come across a most sickening book written by a more vile individual. If anyone out there even for one second thought this venomous woman would have made a good commander-in-chief, you need to have your head examined. All she does in her book is write a journal about how she was cheated out of the presidency, and how it should have been her turn to sit in the Oval Office. But that racist, bigots, self-hating women and misogynists like you and I are too deplorable to see she was the right choice. Hillary Clinton will go down in history as the biggest sore loser in political history, if she is even remembered for anything more than her failed tenure as Secretary of State under the failed presidency of Barack Hussein Obama who in effect killed off the Democrat Party. Party.